good afternoon, church. Good afternoon. My name, as you've heard, is uh, Moho Kenyatta. And I bring uh, the condolences of uh, the entire Kenyatta family. And in particular, the condolences of His Excellency, the President uh, of the Republic of Kenya, Uhuru Muigai Kenyatta, who unfortunately could not be with us today, here today. As we all know, he is uh, on official duties in China. With that, it is with great sadness that we bring you this message of condolence and encouragement following the death of Jonathan Torrey Tichmoy. Our thoughts and prayers from the President, our First Lady, and our matriarch, Mamangina Kenyatta, and the entire Kenyatta family are with you all during this difficult period, and especially to you, his beloved father, His Excellency President Daniel Toratich Arab Moy, his widow, Mama Sylvia, and Jonathan's whole family, including Senator Gideon Moy, all his brothers and sisters, and their families, relatives, friends, and the entire community. This is a family that we have associated with for many, many, many years. We have known each other for many years. Um, we have not had the kind of fights I've heard that uh, some people and other friends have had, but uh, we have known each other and associated for many years. And we stand here together firmly with you in this, your moment of sorrow and your moment of grief. And we stand together with you the journey of parting with our loved ones, especially a son, also a parent and a brother, is hard and extremely painful. We are consoled by the treasure of memories accumulated over the time spent with our loved ones. We thank God for the gift of our beloved JT and for the opportunity and privilege to have known and shared in his life. We celebrate together with a family, a life well lived, blessed with children, family, relatives, friends, mentorship, and service to the community. Though death separates us from those we love, they never go away. They walk beside us every day, unheard, unseen, but always near, still loved, still missed, but very dear. They are never forgotten. They will always be in our minds and will forever be in our hearts. It is our prayer that you will draw comfort from the blessed assurance of our Lord's words in John 11:25. I am the resurrection and the life. He that believes in me, though he were dead, yet he shall live. We hold that promise in our hearts, trusting that in the end of JT's time with us, that the end of JT's time with us is not the end of his life, and believing in that in time to come, we shall all see him again. As we remember and honor and pay respects to JT, we pray that the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God will strengthen you all throughout this period and in the days and years to come. Let us endeavor to keep this family in our prayers as often as we can. May the Almighty God rest his soul in internal peace. God bless you all. Thank you very much. Thank you.